six for object 279 real fast because this is super simple. We need to earn the Confederate award two times in seven battles, three times in seven battles if you want to get the secondary. And Confederate means that uh, you damage or crit more enemies uh, than anyone else in your team and you need to do a minimum of six. But your team needs to kill those tanks. Uh, so you're gonna hit them and you're gonna move on. You're not gonna kill them. That simple. To get this done, there's really the, the best way to do this is, is artillery. Um, and uh, the best artillery that I happen to have is the tier nine American artillery, the uh, 5355. It has a solid rate of fire if you uh, downgrade the gun. So you use the 155 millimeter gun, not the top gun, uh, because you can fire faster. It's almost 50% faster. It's super accurate. And the, uh, the gun arc is pretty wide, so you don't need to move uh, for the most part. The downside is you're running another arty mission. If arty's not your thing, like uh, with me, this kind of stinks because the Alliance uh, missions are almost half arty. Either they require arty or they're just easier to, to do in arty. So, but this is by far the best tank to, to do this in. Um, for equipment, use a, a rammer um, just for the extra uh, reload speed. I'm sure you have that on your arty anyways. Uh, and gun laying drive and vents just to uh, improve the uh, uh, the aim time and accuracy of the tank. Uh, the consumables don't matter because frankly, if you get lit, you're dead anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I happen to run uh, two repair kits and a, uh, a first aid because that's what I run on basically all my tanks. There are alternatives to this if you don't uh, happen to, to have already. I would say probably the, the best alternative is to use uh, something like a Bulldog uh, or some other uh, light tank uh, just so that you have the mobility to get around the, uh, the battlefield. Uh, again, you're not trying to kill anything. Uh, in fact, you don't want to kill anything. Um, you just want to get a shot on a move. Uh, so maybe even a T-49 so you, you throw your derp out there and you run away. Um, or you can use uh, any of the medium tanks uh, really to, to get this done as well. But I would say, uh, you know, these are a distant second and third to using artillery in this because the arty is just so easy. Um, so let's, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, uh, the first battle. It's the only uh, replay I'm going to show you. Uh, I actually uh, got this done in uh, four battles. Um, it just so happened that on one of the, the four battles, I didn't get Confederate, and that was because um, the there was another artillery player on my uh, team, and he got Confederate in one of the battles. So, already is the way to go for this. So, uh, I'm starting focusing on one side. I'm focusing on, on where the mediums typically go. I'm getting my shots in, so that's a, a second one there. Um and uh, I'm just hitting people and, and moving on. And that's what this, this mission is about because we don't care about the amount of damage that we, we're doing. Uh, we just care about the fact that we're, we're doing damage. So once I got that, that shot, that side was basically dry for me um, because uh, once you've hit all the targets on the side, you just move. I got a, a blind fire into that, uh, that E3 there. So I'll take that one as a, a fourth hit. Um, and uh, and then really you're just trying to look for, for targets of, of opportunity after that. Um, uh, you don't need to really force any of the, uh, the shots, although um, you can say uh, with something like a, uh, a lightly armored tank, you could throw a, a glancing burst into them and do 10 damage by not hitting them if they're behind a building or something like that. That's definitely a, a, a viable strategy. It's okay to take blind shots here, although, uh, um, I mean, unless it's a guaranteed hit, uh, it's really, um, you have to keep track of the targets that you're hitting because you only want to hit them once, particularly with artillery with such a, a long reload time. Um, so if you could avoid doing blind shots, uh, avoid it. Um, but uh, uh, you know, feel free to take them, particularly on the slower tanks, uh, because... Uh, um, if they're, if they're not going to move or they're not moving uh, far, it's not a big deal. Um, only a few tanks uh, uh, left for me to, to hit in the, in the battle since uh, I already have uh, four of them and there's a bunch of, of tanks already dead. Remember, uh, you don't want to be the one to kill these tanks. Uh, you just want to damage them. You need the team to kill them. Um, uh, this type of map is, uh, is great for that because it's wide open. Uh, for the most part, tanks are, are standing still. Uh, because they're all around this uh, this flag here. So uh, just uh, uh, once you once you sort of whittle down to a, a small number of tanks, um, again, 
because you're not trying to kill anything and in fact you're trying to actively avoid killing things even if somebody's lit don't shoot them um and, and i think that's a, a good rule throughout most of the match um because you want to get your shots in before um uh, before your team steamrolls the enemy so that's it i mean you have to do that three times to to get the the mission done like i said it took me uh it took me four battles to to do it and i only missed it because another artillery got it on on one of the battles um so uh, a couple of of uh, tips and summary uh just hit a target and move on it's really not a big deal uh fire once get the damage that's it uh, I would focus on the medium lane first, uh, just because they tend to die first. Uh, you know, the heavy lane they're gonna they're gonna duke it out for a while. So hit hit your medium lane first, um, and then shift to to uh, whatever part of the map you need to. Um, focus on the low HP tanks if you haven't already hit them, but do not kill them. And the reason you want to do that is is because um, they're likely going to die soon anyways, and you need to get your hit in before they're they're dead. Um, but they will only count towards Confederate. And remember, you need to do not just the, the most number of, of enemies hit. Uh, it has to be a minimum of six. They only count towards that if your team kills them. So if your team gets steamrolled and you hit 10 tanks, it doesn't matter. You're not getting Confederate. Um, or if you are the one to kill the tank, that doesn't count towards uh, Confederate. Okay, so the team has to be the one to kill them. Um, and as I mentioned, if, if somebody's behind a building um, uh, or behind a, a little uh, berm and, and it's tough to get a shot, just lob a shot anyways. Um, maybe your burst damage will, will uh, extend far enough to, uh, to get a, a critical on them in terms of um, a crew or something like that. Or maybe you just do 10 damage. That still counts. Um, and, and watch that minimap for last known locations. Uh, because once once you've uh, hit all of the the tanks that you're aware of, just pre-aim the the spots where where you weren't focusing, where you know that tanks were lit before, and uh, see if they get lit there again. Uh, but this is super super easy. Uh, you should get this done in three or four matches, and the minimum is three, so uh, you'll get it done. So good luck on this one, guys, and uh, I will see you on the next one.